Hi, everybody. I wanted to talk to you about an experience cloud site. If you use one for your portfolio um, or if you're building for a company, you can use the same tip. But I use it as a, a little extra in my portfolio to show I went above and beyond. And I want to talk to you about Favicon. So if you look at the tabs where my mouse is at the top, this little picture here is called a Favicon. Um, there's a Salesforce site. It has a cloud, most of them have it. My developer site, I'm, I'm using a little bit different um, functionality, so it is colored. But then um, if you look over here at Loom, the library it has their, their purple little swirl, that's their favicon. And it's a nice branding thing to do for yourself. So if you don't create a favicon when you're doing an experience cloud site, then it will just have the blue cloud and it's generic. But I decided to put um, a version, it's a picture of me up here. So I wanted to tell you how I did that. Um, and don't worry about remember any of this. You can always go to my portfolio, which I will add in the links. And at the top, you click more and build your brand. And I actually have um, information on Favicon is in here. It says create a custom Favicon. If you click on that, it'll open up and give you these directions. But the, essentially, um, a Favicon is a little 16 by 16 sized image that you're going to put up there. And so you're going to start by uploading a static resource. So here is my Favicon that I uploaded. I used a PNG image because I wanted the background to be clear. Initially, I had a picture with a white background, but if you viewed it in dark mode, it looked really weird. So in, if you have it as a clear, transparent background, then when you upload it, it doesn't matter what screen that somebody is using, it will look good. So you create a static resource and um, I did that here where you can see uh, that I had uploaded it. And basically it's this itty bitty tiny picture, this transparent image of me. But in order to easily create a favicon, there is this favicon generator. You can go to favicon.io or favicon converter. You drag and drop the picture you want, and then it creates a favicon size and you hit download. It'll give you several sizes, 16 by 16, 32 by 32. I used 16 by 16 pixels. Um, and once you do that, you go to, so that was the front end of, or the public side of my experience cloud site. I'm going to go to what we call the builder. And if you use experience cloud, you know what that is. So inside my builder, I am going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to advanced. Advanced lets me adjust the head markup and that is where you're going to put your favicon code. Okay. So this code that I have here is based on the static resource that I have here. Now, in order to do that and to be able to know what code to put in the head markup, you're going to go back to my site where it says under more, build my brand and find that Favicon article because it'll tell you exactly how to do this. Um, it's super simple. Once you get it in, it's just a small line of code. You put it in the head markup, you hit save. And after you save, you always hit publish. Publish uh, is, and you make sure your site is active if you want it to show for guest users. But once you publish it, that's like saving the code and then you refresh your page and you'll see it. So that's how I did a favicon to kind of push my portfolio a little bit above and beyond. So again, if you have questions, you go to more at my portfolio, which I will link. You click build your brand and that's the page we're on. And you scroll down, it says create a custom favicon and there's an article to help you there. So if you do this, tag me because I definitely want to see what this looks like um, in your experience cloud site.